guys. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's Big Brother 25 finale chat. Oh, hi. I just couldn't with them doing their little... <sighs> they just really know how to suck the fun out of everything. It's a real fart in a spacesuit. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's <laughs> day 100 <laughs> of Big Brother 25. It's time to wrap this baby up. But first, that... Dr. Will interview. Oh, with Sharon Tharp. She does it again. We watched it like right before the finale, like you know the what? last hour and a half leading up to it. That interview was more entertaining <laughs> than the entire season 25. It was really fantastic. So if you haven't seen it and you're a Dr. Will fan or you don't even know who he is, go watch it because it is so freaking good well you should know who he is because he's been doing the jury roundtable for like the last 10 years or whatever right. so if you haven't seen his seasons you should still know kind of like what his deal is but and, and adam and steve oh my god i love the, those two turtles. turtles it's one turtle okay well i love them <laughs> okay um but yeah it was a great interview so two thumbs up to sharon and dr will yes all right well this finale Julie shows up in her fancy dress. She Another says, two thumbs up. I love the look. I'm ready to begin the finale. The gold, like, brocade. 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 I like brocade better. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what? Julie looked beautiful. She did. Gorgeous. Yes. So, here we are, the final three. <laughs> Jack, could there be a more unlikable final three? It's Probably. It, I mean, there could be, but that's pretty bad. Jack, Bowie, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys, a girl, and a disappointing season. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's family is in the uh, in the info box below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all in the audience. I like that. I like yeah. when they show the families. It's Couldn't fun. have that for a while because of COVID, so it's right. nice to see them back. And Bowie Jane's parents made the trip. Wow, that's a big trip for them. It's a big trip. All right, so we left off last time... With part one of the final HOH competition in progress. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, that's Canada. In progress. <laughs> yes. And uh, they were basically doing the hang from a scrotum, uh, <laughs> get dipped Not in a some scrotum. egg, get, uh, sh you know, smashed sprayed, into a wall, sprayed with cold water. Ooh, that water looked very cold. They were all like shivering. Would you say they were shooketh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, they also pulled out the gross ass hair. I remember that from last season because. I feel like they've been doing this for like the last few, and every time were, it comes up, I'm like. Bleh! They were cleaning it out of the shower. No! Oh, my Sasquatch competition. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. All right. So Bowie wants to take Jag. She doesn't want to take Matt because she knows she would probably lose to Matt. She feels like her best chance of winning would be against Jag. I don't think she got a shot about against either, but. <laughs> I mean, what's she going to do? Just be like, I got no chance. I'm not doing anything. I She's don't know. trying. But she was freezing her A off. She was. So she dropped at one hour and 24 minutes. Yeah. So A the, valiant effort. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. So the bros were up there for another hour and a half. Okay, but then this pissed me off. Yeah. Because Jag was like, what do you say? We're going to take each other to the end anyway. Let's say we do a little rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors in the final HOH competition. <laughs> I was not happy about what that. What the hell has happened to this show? Can we please take it a little seriously here? What the hell? Why yeah. not draw Q-tips? <laughs> well, that would be Riley and Matt's dream. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so Matt, Matt won. Matt won the, Matt, the rock, paper, scissors. Matt the rat moves on. Okay. Jag dropped. Matt wins part one. Matt advances directly to part three. All right. Well, let's not talk about that right now. All right. Let's talk about the wonderful jury roundtable hosted okay. by none other than the one and only Dr. Will, who looks fantastic. <laughs> Doesn't look a day over 34, 5? 35, Bowie Jane. Yes. <laughs> I have He's to say, actually 50. Yeah. Well, I do think that this was a good jury roundtable. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit underwhelmed because he talked about, like, how dynamic it was mm -hmm. in that interview. And we didn't see any of, like, the yelling or raised voices here. We didn't get any of that. that they it didn't make the edit. 
They I didn't guess. have long enough. You know what? When you have raised voices like that, you can't just like show people freaking out. <laughs> you have to out. show the build up too. You have to you show know. the build up. So they just didn't have enough time to show the build up. I guess. But um, do you think people were surprised to see Felicia walk in? I think they I were. Don't, I don't think so. I think they were hoping it was going to be Matt or Jag, but right. they knew in their hearts that it was going to be Felicia. The mustard seed. Yeah, and I was like cracking up last night watching Amazing Race because of all the mustard and the mustard seed. And I Phil, didn't see it yet. Phil was like, oh yeah, the mustard seed. Like, it's so old. It was even mentioned in the Bible. And I was like, Felicia! I believe the mustard seed is the smallest seed. Is it? Yeah. Well, I guess that's part of the whole thing, right? Yeah. Faith of a mustard seed, Felicia. Julie will love that when she goes oh, for her interview. Yes. Okay, so. When Felicia walked in, yeah. Cherie was all like, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Whoa. Uh-oh. All right, so they're discussing the last uh, three. Mm -hmm. Bowie Jane was never on the block. I mean. Did they forget she was in there? <laughs> <laughs> it is impressive to a certain degree, but there's like. It's one thing to just kind of, like, be coasting and never go up on the block. And it's another thing to actually be, like, actively participating in the game and never go up on the block. And while Bowie yeah. has won three HOHs, and that's, like, a big deal, the first half of the game, the first three quarters of the game, she was not active. She was not participating. Whenever anyone would ask her yeah. for an opinion, she was like, I don't know. What do you think? Even when she accidentally won HOA, she didn't want to, like, do any of the stuff. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean anything to me at this point. Um, All right. So, then they talked about Jag, about how he was evicted, and he came back, and Matt had saved him. They seemed divided on this. Like, should he be... I think for that's that. probably what a lot of the arguing, you know, could have been about. Mm -hmm. I think Siri wants to know um, <laughs> That keeps happening. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, um, they were talking about that. They are talking about how Matt has had a great social game, at least compared to the other two. I mean, people wanted to work with him. They trusted everything he was saying. Um, and I think that's true. Matt did a really good job of making it seem like he was the innocent one, the sweet right. guy, when, like, in reality, mm, mm. Yeah. But he was also following orders from Jag a lot of the time. Matt didn't own his game either. He did not, and that was a huge sticking point for this jury. Yeah. If he wasn't going to own up to the moves, then he's not going to be rewarded for that. All right, well, let's get back to the final HOH. Okay. Uh, it's part two, and this was a mega comp. It was. This wasn't like a crapshoot. This wasn't, as Dr. Will would say, uh, dropping a ball in a hole. <laughs> right. You had to know all of the comps. You had to know which universe they belonged to. Right. Scary, Humili, Comic, whatever. And Scramble. Okay. <laughs> you say so. And then you had to put them in order as well. A chronological order. Correct. Not alphabet order. Yeah. <laughs> now, I really liked this competition. I thought it was good. It was a little bit physical in that you had to zip line from platform to platform. But Did it, you have to? I think you had to. Okay. Like, you had to use it even if you could have, like, m made the leap or whatever. I think you had right. to use it. But I do think that it was predominantly mental. I, you could only carry two tiles at a time. Right. Which kind of meant you're going to be ziplining a lot back and forth. But I do think that this was a pretty good balance, in my opinion. And also, it wasn't the traditional yeah. one that we see season after season. It was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Having them know not only the names of the competitions, which I can't even hear them say half the time. Um, the order that they were... Mm -hmm. competed in and um also the universe that they were part of because that's right. not really something that they were studying all along they were not studying no. which universe everything was no. a part of well they both kind of sucked they both really sucked <laughs> i knew that this was gonna trip people up but over an hour for both of them yeah jag's time was an hour and two minutes bowie's time was an hour and 32 minutes Wow. Honestly, I think that this competition Do you think production was like I can't believe this is taking this long. I've got I've got a pizza waiting to be picked up yeah. on the way home. Yeah. Um 
I do think that this competition could have been completed a lot faster. I think these two spent a lot of time trash talking in the last few weeks and not as much time studying. Yeah. So yeah. I think that was part of that. But well, Bowie's not worried because she thinks Jag's going to take her to the final two. Right. Uh, just to say the obvious, Jag won this. <laughs> he beat Bowie yeah. by like 30 minutes. So well, she said that before. Yeah, she thinks that Jag is going to take her, so she's like, all right, he just has to beat Matt, and then I'm in the final two. Wow, okay. Good luck, girly. <laughs> all right, so we're not wasting any time tonight. I felt like they kept the show moving pretty well. pretty good. Pretty well. There wasn't a lot of filler. Honestly, though, I wish they would have gotten some of these endgame competitions out of the way on Tuesday so that yeah. we could have more fun times tonight. More reunion times yeah because i bb I want never that. has enough reunion time we want the dirt we want the deets yeah we want to know who's hooking who <laughs> i want um more jury footage of them talking about yeah. the final three i want more of the evicted house guests like the the pre-jurors to come in and talk about what they yeah, they, what they thought saw the from show. the episodes yeah i don't want to hear from just one of them because yeah. you're trying to get them on the amazing race or whatever <laughs> uh yeah i would have liked more from them so that also the people that were in the jury or were still in the house could hear like mm -hmm. you know get a peek into what the viewers thought of the episodes right because they don't know right now right they don't know what went down right for real for real all right well anyway it's part three, part three, and it's uh, Matt the Rat versus Jaguar. Okay. <laughs> and it's called Juryverse, but you don't have to know that because you won't be tested on it. <laughs> that will not be on the final. So this is basically a game of two truths and a lie They've for been... every juror, except the last one because they're not evicted yet. Right. They've been doing this one the past few seasons now. Um, so the theme of this one, like you said, was the Juryverse, so... Each juror had their own oh, universe, which was kind of, of fun. Kind of I like, like that. Book of Mormon. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I Each mean, Mormon of. gets their own planet. Yeah. <laughs> um, we won't get into all that right now. Yeah. But I thought the uh, universes that they gave everyone were fun. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of captured the character of each person. And of course the photoshopping, always funny. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so the questions were pretty easy. For Matt and Jack. Not for us, though. Well, we haven't been studying. Oh. Neither of them. No. <laughs> they have been studying. Uh, just well, not the right stuff. So it's the best of six, and they, at the end of the competition, they were tied at five. Right. They each got one wrong. The same the one. The same one. Mm-hmm. All right. So they went to a tiebreaker, and I believe it was in minutes, uh, the length of time of the part one, part one. endurance comp. Right. And Jag won. Yeah, he was closer, so he, he won. He was only like seven, seven or eight away or something like that. I think it was more than that. Ten. <laughs> Do I hear eleven? <laughs> yeah, I think it was a little more than this that. This one goes to eleven. But uh, he won, so he gets to make the call on who's going in the final two with him. Yeah. Maximum drama. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the... <laughs> potential losers to plead their case. Right. So Matt and Bowie have the chance to give a little speech for Jag, mm -hmm. tell him why they should take them to the final two. Matt went bro heavy. We're of bros. Course. I mean, we knew that that was coming. We've been working together since, like, the beginning. Yeah. And Bowie Jane said, do what's best for you. Now this is awkward because Jag has a final two deal with both. With both. With both. So, he gets up there, he does his speech. I thought he did a pretty good job with this speech of saying nice things to both of them. It was a little bit of a change up from his usual piss poor jury management. Yeah. So, uh, he ended up evicting Bowie Jane. He stuck with his bro for life. I mean, she knew it. Uh, did he, she? I think so. She took it really well. And I'm not surprised that she wasn't upset because... I know I said it earlier that I thought she was going to be upset. But I'm not surprised that she wasn't because she never really cared. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, she didn't seem very invested in this game at right. all. So, so Bowie she Jane happily went out. Goes out to meet Julie. And they have a moment. And she said... 
Matt and Jag are the best Matt ever. Matt and Jag are the best ever. The best boys. My hungry guys. My hungry guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make some Totinos. Yes. Oh, God. Okay, so we have our final two. Great. Matt and Jag. Now it's time for the jury. Bring to out come the out. jury, and everyone looked lovely. Felicia looked lovely. I especially in loved green. Felicia in green and, and Serene, Serene in yellow. yellow. Oh, yeah. loved it. Yes, they looked fabulous. So uh, they wanted Jag to join the jury, <laughs> but it wasn't Jag. It was Bowie Jane. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Questions, asking all those questions. Oh, these questions, oh my god, this was cringe. Awful. The questions weren't awful, but the answers no, but were. <laughs> the questions were awful. I thought the questions were fine. I thought the questions were pointed. I like that the questions were not just some BS throwaway, because sometimes we get that and it's really annoying. Well, in sum and substance, the answers basically were, Matt said they were equal, they were equal partners, they did everything together. Uh, and he, that's what he said. He'd rather be famous instead. Doja Cat. <laughs> okay. And then Jag said, uh, no. Shh. Yeah, he's oh, off. Sh- I, I was the leader, one hundo P. Um, <laughs> I'm not a coward. Everything I did was masterful. Uh, Matt was completely unprepared for this. It was yeah. like... He needed a book report, but it was due the next day, and he had no idea what he was writing. He just kept repeating uh, some talking points that were kind of lame. together, bros. <laughs> Competitions. What was your one big, you know, give us an example of a big move that you made without Jag. I saved Jag. <laughs> yeah. Path to power, save Jag. Yeah. Yikes. Um, yeah, I mean, they gave Matt plenty... I made my moves. My moves were mine. Yeah, it was not good. Um, they gave him plenty of opportunities to own some moves, talk mm-hmm. about his game on his own, aside from what he was doing with Jag, and he just... He flopped. Didn't take advantage of any of those opportunities, whereas Jag was taking credit for everything. Everything. It was a little bit much at times. It was like, okay, I mean... I... Yeah. Let's back off the gas a little bit. I don't know what was going on with Jag's maniacal answers. <laughs> it was just like he was so angry and he was yelling. It was like Dan Giesling in the diary room. Uh, I'm thinking like Paris, BB Can. Remember yes, Paris and Kayla when they were yes, like yelling? The... Yes. <laughs> but it wasn't just yelling. It was like the things he was saying. It was a lot of, I did this, I did that. I do think that he controlled a lot of the second half of the game, but the way he was presenting it was so, like, ugh. He's like, I calculated ugh. every second of this 100 days. And <sighs> Is that why it's so exhausting? Yes. <laughs> so then they had their final pleas. And uh, this went in a similar direction. <laughs> Matt said, I played a great social game. I'm a team player. It was a total middle school book report. Yeah, he really phoned it in. It was a lot of rambling. He was all like, I played rock, paper, scissors. It was like Julie said, I need 150 words double spaced <laughs> on my desk in five minutes. He and definitely made just words. He changed the font for yeah. the periods and the spaces in between to pad that out. Yep. And <laughs> yep. it did not go over well. It was terrible. And then you have Jag, who was writing in all caps. Oh. <laughs> You're sitting there because I willed it. I don't just deserve it. I earned it. He was all like, I'm bathing in all of your blood, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, Corey in America, or at least America, was like freaking laughing during this, but in like a yes way, because you know, uh, she's a Jack Blue fan. Blue was cringing during this. She was just like... Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> I was cringing during it It was hard. like that bowling guy. Yeah. Who do you think you are? I, I am! <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. Again... Yeah. I do think that Jag played the better game, jury management aside. He should have um, just shut his mouth. A little like, humility would be nice. Yeah. A little humility. You can own your moves while not being mm-hmm. extra like that. That was it was a bit too much for me. Uh, that was the extra firmest of all to of all tofus. Not enough to cost <laughs> him the win, but it was just like, do we really need to be doing this right now? No. 
<laughs> anyway. All right, let's bring out the first seven losers. Well, the jury did their votes, and yeah. I think it was pretty obvious how this vote was going to go just from what they all the said. Snippets. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it was a giveaway. The sneakiest snake. Yeah. Jag. And then Sari and Felicia, it was pretty clear that they were going to be voting for Matt from what they said. They you know, said our The person son. that I can trust the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the first seven losers came out, and they look great. Yeah. I don't know why Jared was wearing a Halloween ski mask. I don't think it was. Yeah, that was. The necklace. I saw another view of it. I don't think it was a screen mask. Oh. (laughs) I liked his sweater, though. It was interesting. Yeah. Mimi, fabulous. Um, Mimi looked amazing. Yeah. Everybody looked great. They were ready to party. Um, Again, I would have loved to have heard more from them. Yeah. We did get to hear from Mimi. Julie was asking, what were you most surprised about watching the show back? She said, I was really surprised that Cameron was... Like a hero? A hero, not a villain. <laughs> Ooh. Cameron seemed quite surprised to hear that as well. He said, I am? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I think a few people on the jury were like... <laughs> All right. Felicia, oh wait, first Julie reveals that Bowie Jane is a lawyer. Well, Heisen was also like, Mimi is a political consultant, oh, right, we would have right, been working right. together, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, and then Felicia calls out Bowie Jane. She said, how the F old are you? You, you are not 35. <laughs> I because... mean, everybody knew she was not 35. I want to know how old that woman was in BBOTT who said she really? was 29. Yeah. <laughs> she was like 59. She's definitely not 29. That's for sure. But yeah, Bowie was all like, I'm 45. And everyone was like, we know. <laughs> 10 years more. Yeah. And then Felicia revealed that she is not related to Denzel. I'm sorry, but the way that they, they set this up to make it seem like they were about to reveal to Cameron that he was right... And then they were like, no, just kidding. That was hilarious. This section was, like, one of my favorites in the whole episode. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Whoever produced that, Good work, good work. Yeah. So then it was time for the big secret. Julie said, uh, now some of you already know this, so shut up. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) let me have my moment. Again. Yes. Julie said... Uh, there are two people in this house that have been playing the game together. They're related. So and everyone's like... Matt ah. went... Yeah. And Julie went, oh, Matt, who do you think it is? After you pick your jaw up off the floor. And he says, Corey and America. And everyone was like, what the F, bro? Are you trying to say they're, like, incestual? But honestly, this was so on brand for Matt. Because for the last... I don't know, ever since Corey and America were evicted, but honestly before that, he could not shut up about Corey and America. So if you're going to ask him a question about other house guests, the answer is going to be Corey and America. And then Julie (laughs) was like, Matt, what the F? Like, how do you think they're related? And he's like, oh, wait, I didn't think about that. Yeah, because you can't think about anybody else. I mean, maybe legit he didn't hear the question, but like... I don't think so. So Jared stood up and said, I've been playing with my mom. And I feel like they did it this way because they wanted everyone to be like, oh, is it Sari or is it Felicia? Because I think everybody was leaning Felicia. Because then when Sari mm-hmm. was like, it me, everyone yeah. was like, what? Oh my God. And then Julie, the little tattletale, uh, called out Jared for revealing the secret to someone else in the house. Blue. Ugh, and Sari looked pissed. Not acting pissed. No. She actually looked pissed. Right, because before, Sari was, like, acting shocked about Jared's big reveal oh, that he was playing the game with his mom. She's like, what? Oh, my God. Me? Yeah. So she looked pissed, and she was like, we're going to talk about this later. Uh-oh. Uh, we, we, we also saw that Izzy, of course, already knew, like, mm-hmm. night one, day one. Yeah. Uh, and she Social kept that media. secret to herself. Yeah. She wants to be invited for Thanksgiving. Of course. And I'm sure she will be. Yes. I'm sure the invite is already in the mail. (laughs) All right, let's manufacture another showman here. Well, before that, Julie, (laughs) not only was she so thrilled to do the whole Sari and Jared reveals all throughout the season, she had to show 
a montage of them. This was a little self indulgent. <laughs> a freaking super cut of Julie telling everybody about Sari and Jared. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> Julie, we let you have your moment before. You didn't need this one also. Yeah, but I feel like Corey was sitting there, like, really, like, trying to think about how this all affected the game. Because he did mention, like, oh, my God, I voted out Jared. Or, like, I targeted Jared. And then I expected to work with Sari after that. Yeah. I mean, it kind of just highlights how unfair of an advantage they had. Yeah. <laughs> being able to play this game together. All right, well... But whatever, it's over now. Now let's talk about Riley. Okay. I'm so proud that Matt has made it to the final two. I'm a driver's wife. Yeah. <laughs> Could we have heard more from, like, the actual showmances of the season? Yeah. I mean, Blue and Jared, they're reunited. Corey and America are, like, in love. Yeah. Would have been nice to hear from that, but now we hear from the showmance of Riley and Matt. Okay, whatever. All right, well... She had the, the Q-tip in her boobs, ready for Matt. Great. <laughs> All right, so Julie reveals the votes. Okay. And as suspected, Jag wins BB25. Five to two. You know who the two were for Matt. Sari and Felicia. Yep. So, um... That's pretty exciting. You know, he is the first sick winner, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Congratulations to him. And I do think he was deserving of this win out of who was left. I wish he just hadn't, like, freaked out at the end. That was really <laughs> creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I am. You aren't. Is he my favorite winner? No. But. <laughs> was he worthy? <laughs> sure. Congratulations to yeah, him. He's pretty upset about that. Yeah. He. Yeah, what have you I done? I think the, the <laughs> problem here is that he was a frustrating winner. Because mm -hmm. he really did control the second half of this game. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he, like, wouldn't own his moves before, and, like, the way that he went about things, it was not fun to watch. Yeah. It was very frustrating. So I think that's part of the problem. He was also very wimpy. Yes. The way he went about it all, yeah. it was not, not fun. All right, well... But he won, so he's excited. Confetti, yay. Now it's time for America's Favorite House Guest. Okay. And I was not expecting these top three. I expected two out of these three. Okay. And I was not surprised with this winner. Sari, Matt, and Cameron, not in any particular order. And the winner was Cameron. I did not think that Matt was going to be in the top three. Neither did I. But, yeah, Sari and Cameron, and then Cameron with the big win. Mm hmm I mean, Mimi called it, right? She saw what was up. Cameron's got a lot of fans he from was, the casual ones. He was very, uh, he was very he was gracious. Yes. Yeah. Stevie, daddy's coming home with 50K. <laughs> so congrats to him. And then the episode was not over. Julie. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> that was very poor acting. The acting, oh my God. Not to be outdone. Here comes Danielle Frankie Reyes, Grande. Frankie Grande, and Brittany Haynes all back. Frankie's hair was actually bigger than his head. That was a lot. A lot of hair. So they came out in the beginning of the season, remember? And they had the whole, like, we're going to shoot a laser, and that's how... We're going to mess up the house. Yeah, we're that's how it all went down. House. So now they're trying to clean it up. <laughs> we're trying to fix it. Right. So they get rid of all the, the universes, whatever, comic, scary, scramble, humility. But it gets effed up because Frankie's holding the gun. <laughs> And it turns into the holidays, Christmas. What? So everybody's in their holiday-themed pajamas. Which kind of pissed me off, because what about Hanukkah? It was a little bit Christmas-centric. And a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, <laughs> holidays aren't just... Well, hopefully they're going to be a little more inclusive in the, I hope uh, so. in the actual show. I hope so. But yeah, um, Julie reveals that there's going to be a whole new what? show as part of the Big Brother universe. Oh. This wasn't, like, misleading, though, because she had said in an interview that this was something that they'd done before. They didn't do this before. She said it's a whole new show, whole new rules, all that, uh, and it's going to be the Big Brother Reindeer Games. Oh. 
So I immediately said, no Julie, no feeds. And you said, what? We can't have Big Brother without Julie. Or feeds. Oh, yes, we can. You called it. You definitely called it. Yeah. So there's going to be nine legendary Big Brother players coming to compete. Who do you, well, also one from this season. And one will be invited from the season. I don't know if that's in addition to the nine or that's included in the nine. I'm thinking that's included in the nine. Who do you think it's going to be? Jag? I feel like it's going to be Cameron. Oh, wow. That would be, yeah, okay. He's Mr. Comp Beast. Yeah, and you're right. He's America's favorite. Mm-hmm. And they, I feel like it's, it's going to be him. But you never yeah. know. Um, but this is going to be totally different. Like you said, Julie is not hosting. This will be helmed by Jordan, Tiffany, and, and Derek, Derek X. Right. So That's a good group. It is a good group, um, for the most part. And <laughs> Wait, which Jordan? Like, Jordan, season 11 Jordan. Jeff and Jordan? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. She's okay. Um, yeah, so they're going to be Santa's elves helping out, running the show. And this is going to be completely different because yeah. it's going to be six episodes starting December 11th. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to be running until like... It's either December 21st or 22nd, it's, it's I'm not sure. It's two weeks. Right. Yeah. And it's going to be um, not Big Brother, honestly. It's it's not Big Brother. It's going to be like when the British Bake Off does the holiday episode and they don't go through the whole season. They just do like a three or four uh, competition per show, mm-hmm. you know, and they have like the celebrities come in. And right. It's fine. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. I feel like they are really taking the Big Brother out of Big Brother. This is not Big Brother because they're not even going to be living in the house together. Right. Um. There's this no is, live feeds. This is like when you get Mario Party and you don't you play the game. You only do the mini games. You only do the mini games. Because this is going to be all about challenges. There's going to be like yeah. three challenges per episode and then I guess like someone leaves at the end of each episode. Uh, so it's going to be completely different. I guess they're taking the strategy out of it, basically. I don't know if there's going to be any strategy involved. There's no, like, living together so. situation. So I don't know exactly all the details about this, but... Who's a legend? Do you think they're going to have actual legends? Or do you think they're going to have, like, second stringers? I think they'll have at least a few actual legends. Um, and then maybe they'll have some filler queens. But... I think, you know, they're going to catch some crap if they don't put some actual legends in there. I don't know if they're going to have any, like, Dan's or Ian's or... Well, the thing that sucks about this to me... No, I mean, setting aside the whole this isn't Big Brother thing, this is geared for comp beasts, right? Because mm-hmm. this is all about competitions, it seems Unless like. Unless it's throwing a ball in a hole. <laughs> so is this just going to be, like... Battle of the Dudes. It's going to be like the challenge got knocked up over this season. <laughs> what? And this is their babe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. We don't know who's on the cast yet. We're going to find that out at some point. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen, putting the challenge so close to Big Brother. Mm. So, it was bound to happen. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, we will be covering it. So, let us know your thoughts on all of this And who in do you think is a legend? Who do you want to see? Yeah, who do you want to see on? Yeah. I want to see... I haven't thought about it yet. I don't know. Not Danielle. Like, Dick and Danielle. I don't want to see her again. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to see any of the ones that they tried that have out. been on a million times. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll see some of those. <laughs> I want to see some fresh faces. Well... Good luck with that. I don't want to see friggin' Tyler again. I feel like Tyler's probably going to be on. <sighs> so let us know in the comments who you want. And um, thank you all so much for watching this season with us. It's been a lot. A hundred days. Longest. Oh, oh my boy. goodness. Longest Big Brother season ever. Oh, oh, baby boy. What is going on under there? He said he's over it. Um, he's okay. But, um... Thank you all so much for watching. We could Thank not you. do this without you. No, and, never. Uh, we, we, won't, hope... we won't even try. Yeah, we hope you'll join us for the Reindeer Games. Reindeer Games. <laughs> yes. So, from outside the Big Brother now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Yep, and until next time, much, much love. love.